Hi guys, Jen here with a and Scents at Jump Be Scented. I am testing uh, a scent called Oceans. It is a scent that I have been using in candles. It's skin safe. Um, and it, it just smells really good. Um, it, it's a really good seller for my candles. So I thought I would test it in soap, see how it does. So, in with my life on my hard oils. Let's get stirring. So I thought, you know, and I'm just doing, I wanted to do a big batch because I have a lot of the fragrance. Um, but, you know, until I know how the fragrance is going to behave, I was like, you know what, just suck it up, do a little one pounder because this stuff smells fantastic. I would love to have a big batch of soap on it, but we'll just test it first and see how it goes. If all goes well, then I'll do a big batch. It just smells um, like the beach, um, but not. Um, such a clean, ocean, beautiful scent. So, once this is all melted, I'll bring you guys back. Okay, so while I was stirring, I went ahead and added um, my powder mixture in. So, I added that, which is the kale and clay, uh, colloidal oatmeal, goat milk, and powdered cream. I have just a tiny bit of cocoa butter left, but it will get buzzed up when I, um, long as it's not a big, you know, chunk. So in with my liquid oils. I also rinsed out my lye container that I use so I could um, use it for my color. It's going to be mostly uncolored because um, when I test I like to keep part of it uncolored so I know how much it discolors if any. So. Jim, come on now. So let's give this a little buzz. Hello, my phone just went bananas. My I didn't switch you. Yeah, put them on the table, please. Alright, everything's incorporated. Now, I'm going to stir the fragrance in and let's hope that it does well because, you know, it's an ocean scent and they tend to accelerate. Alright, I'm going to pour a little bit off. Hopefully we have time to color. I'm crossing my fingers that it performs well because I really like the scent. So far, so good with this. I don't need, ooh, just wash that. Uh, I don't need to stick blend the color in because it's a mica. It, it's hand stirs in pretty well. I see some mild acceleration. Um, not yet, Austin. Oh, yeah. Let's see. But I don't know. It's. Let me give it a little stick blend. No, I don't want to. It has stirred down to where I will be able to 
work with it. Let's go ahead and get it in the mold before it gets up, sets up too much more. See, it's a good thing I didn't do the big batch. I'm gonna try to swirl it. Austin, hold on. So I'm gonna put this on top and I'm gonna try to swirl it in. Austin, I can't just stop. He's playing video games, so don't think, you know, it's urgent. <laughs> well, that was not that great. I'm not sure if I would want to carry that or not. Austin, I said to wait. All right, guys, I'll bring you back. I am back to cut my ocean soap. Do you see how this is just colored to a, I don't know, a peach, maybe? A pinkish peach kind of color? Kind of neat. But you guys know that this did not behave well. Yeah, you can see the discoloration there. He's a weeble wobble, Noah. He's a weeble wobble. Say weeble wobble, but he won't fall down. Can you say that? Oh, that one really shows the discoloration. Weeble wobble, he fall down. That's right. Weeble wobble, but he won't fall down. Say he fall down and make it fall. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I shall catch you on my next video. Yay!